Dave as a doctor has got a, a good manner, you know, and he's very, you know, he's very methodical in his approach, he, you know, he, he understands being a sports doctor, that the aim is to get people playing every week and, and he does as much as he can and the best he can, you know, to get everybody out on that field on a Saturday. Over the last five years that I've been working with Dave, you know, I, I personally believe he's the best sports medicine doctor I've worked with in my time in rugby. Uh, He's always been a good sounding board for any ideas that I've had, you know, and, and he'll tell you, he won't tell you what you want to hear, he'll tell you if, it's a, if he thinks it's a good idea or a bad idea, but give you some, you know, objective, you know, feedback. I've worked previously with doctors that are so down the line that it's about, you know, we're taking, you know, duty of care and the words that they use, which is, which is an important factor of how we try to look after our long-term health of our players. But there also is a need to get people back from injury quickly and go out and find new techniques, new methods, you know, along with the rest of the team and bring them to the table to try and improve the chances of a player playing every Saturday. Initially when I got here, having Dave, having Dave here who'd been at the club for a number of seasons and seen, you know, seen a lot of the changes or, and, a, and a lot of the methodologies that were put in place, you know, allowed me to, to, you know, to go back and say what was done well, what wasn't done well, because you know, obviously we changed a lot but there's some good practices there we don't want to change. We're going to miss Dave. We're going to miss Dave a lot, you know. Every single member of the department has got a lot of respect for Dave, uh, and he's, you know, not not just the department, but across the rugby department, you know. And that's why I use the word department, you know, the whole rugby department, because he's there. Not only has he been a GP for some of our own ailments, but he, you know, he, he, his, his work is untiring, you know, and he and he looks for everything, you know, to help everybody. And he's been an ear for people to bend when they've been a bit down, or, you know, not just, you know, work, but maybe some personal things as well. He, you know, he's been a good. You know, building block of, uh, of or pillar is probably the, of the department. We've been indebted to him for his hard work. He's been in the club, you know, nearly 12 years. There ain't many sports doctors that last that long because of the pressures and various other reasons. But you know, we're very sad to lose Dave. The Clubman of the Year award is is very befitting to to Dave. Uh, you know, we desperately didn't want Dave to, you know, to finish at the end of the season. We, we knew it was coming because we spoke for years about him wanting to retire, and obviously. You know, we wish Dave and Lynn a really good retirement, but we still want him to pop into the club and see us. And, and as Dave always does, he's offered to come in and help if we're ever short, you know. But I keep saying, well, you might be on a line, you know, you might be on some cruise for five or six weeks, or knowing you, Dave, uh, a six week festival. Because <laughs> he is a big fan of the festivals and red wine.